As we begin the first quarter of 2018, business-minded people are already looking for the next big Israeli exit. And thanks in large part to two exceptional deals made last year, exits in Israel's high-tech market alone hit over $23 billion in 2017. Well, here with me now in the studio with more on 2017's successes and 2018's potential is attorney Dan Shamgar, a partner with Meitar Likornik Geva Leshemtal. Thank you very much for coming in. Pleasure being here. All right, so my first question is, you know, what were these first two big exits from 2017 and what does Meitar have to do with it? 2017 had two very exceptional transactions. The first one was the acquisition of Mobileye by Intel at a value of approximately $15 billion, which is exceptional uh, by all means. And then the second one was a, uh, an acquisition of Neuroderm, a medical device company by a Japanese buyer for slightly over $1 billion. Uh, we were involved significantly in both transactions as, as the attorneys uh, putting the transaction together. And what, okay, so our customers or, or people who are looking to pick up or buy an Israeli company, a high-tech startup, you know, where are these customers coming from? Are they all over the world? Is everybody looking at Israel? You know, well, they, you, just named, you just named Intel and a Japanese company. Well, the, the interest today in the um, Israeli high-tech industry comes from all over the world. Um, obviously, the um, big American companies have always been kind of traditionally interested in looking into Israeli technologies, but over the years, uh, both European uh, companies and Chinese companies uh, and other Asian players have become very interested in identifying unique, innovative technologies that can make a difference for these big uh, companies because for them, innovation today is the name of the game. So if they can identify a technology that for them can increase sales, then they would, be willing to pay, they, they would be willing to pay significant sure. sums of money for, for these technologies. So what kind of trends did you see in 2017 that you think might continue into 2018? Well, I would say that um, uh, statistically the interesting uh, development is the fact that the average price per transaction has grown significantly higher, wow. which means that Israeli companies are looking for uh, bigger transactions. And, and that reflects the fact that today Israeli entrepreneurs are willing to build big companies mm. with long-term plans and willingness to expand over time because they are looking to become large players. And, and that is different than in the past. In the past, they used to look for a quick exit. Uh, people were right. looking for a sale as quick as they could. Today, sure. they have long-term vision of the growth of the company. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Dan Shamgal, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.